All right, good morning, everybody. Welcome to today's Microsoft Flight Simulator live stream. We are in the Cessna 172 float plane. We'll be departing from Boisfort and Phil's seaplane base up near Montreal, Canada. It's just a little bit north uh, east of um, the main airport there in Montreal. This little spot right here. And we're going to head across the border uh, into the United States. Uh, this is our first nav point here in New York. Um, we're going to turn, head down, um, navigate to our second waypoint. We will uh, continue on. We're going to pass uh, a little bit to the west of Lake Placid, where the uh, Winter Olympics were held a long time ago. And then eventually we're going to come here and land. Now, the tricky part is, uh, you know, because the runways are not marked or anything, what we're going to do is we'll fly over roughly where the airport or water landing strip is. So we'll continue on that heading, and then we'll um, come back around uh, through here and then come back in and land. So, um, yeah. That's the plan. Uh, so I'll wait to see if anybody is going to join in. I don't think so, as usual. <laughs> uh, so we will wait if anybody does uh, sneak in or want to want to join. We've got time to uh, to wait. We got a little bit of time, but. Uh, once at about 7.25, if uh, nobody's here, we're going to go ahead and just uh, populate in over to our uh, 25 water, runway 25. And then we will uh, get everything set up and get in the air. So, waiting to see if we have any takers. If, if we don't... All right, here's if if nobody is going to pop in or nobody not if or if nobody does I'm going to swap planes and we'll fly something else out of on the water. I was trying to stay on this one just in the off chance that uh people wanted to fly along and were a bit uh, overwhelmed with the glass cockpit. So we will wait to see if we have any takers. It says about a two-hour flight. Uh, I don't think it'll take that long. We'll, we'll see. Good morning, Joseph. So if if we don't have any uh, joiners, then I'm gonna f I'm gonna change planes and we'll we'll then we'll get going. We don't have to worry about a startup or anything like. I am going to take just a quick break. I'll be back in just a moment. Uh, if you're going to join, please do. Or oh, never mind. Hold on a second.
All right. Um, it does not appear. Wait a few more minutes, and then we're gonna we're gonna change planes, and then we're gonna go. Matter of fact, I'm just gonna go ahead and change planes now. I don't think we are having any any joiners today, which is fine. Alright, a few more minutes and then we'll we'll pop in, get the plane set up and get in the air. All right. Um, wait, still a few more minutes, just on the off chance. Hold on a second, folks. I gotta change my batteries. All right, there we go. Now we're back in business. All right, perfect. All right, folks, um, waiting to see if anybody's going to join in. Now's the time to speak up if you want me to change. Otherwise, I'm flying the G44A today. If you want to fly the Cessna 172 and you're not 100% sure about everything, now's the time to speak up if you're going to fly. Try to finish my coffee while we're waiting to see if we have any takers.
All right, let's get going. Let's see, we have uh, 11410. Get that dialed in. Actually, we don't even, we, we can do that once we're in the air. All right, we are locked in on the Grumman. Captain's discretion, changing the aircraft last minute. Oh, well, this is interesting. Hold on a second, folks. I did not expect to. Oh, you know what it is? The... Oh, well, this is interesting. Normally the plane would have been started up already. I know why. Oops. That's that. We need to get... Well, this might be a bust. <laughs> Alright, now. That's interesting. Alright. Thank you, Joseph. Turn around here, uh, go ahead and get this dialed in. One, four, zero. circle around a few times just in case we have any last minute joiners that's interesting that it wasn't started up oh speaking of that we just add a little bit of fuel to the tank we have more than enough, but let's just add a little bit extra just on the off chance if we have to divert to uh, an airport, uh, an actual airport to the south of where we are, where we're heading, I should say. Hey Jody, it's going fine. Just waiting a few more minutes. Uh, see if anybody's going to join in. Otherwise, we are going to get in the air here in just a moment. Just kind of circling around here in the water here in near Quebec. 
Montreal. I think it's Montreal, actually. Canada. If not, we are going to go ahead and... All right. It's as good as it's going to get. Alright, we're going to go ahead and turn back around here, and we're just going to go. Alright, let's go. Here we go. All right, folks, we're in the air. Pass over nice and low over this bridge. for today. And there we are. We are in the route and going off course already. This thing loves to deviate, it seems like. <laughs> Heading of two four two ish.
And away we go. Tomorrow we'll be back in Euchre's 52, departing from Chufon, heading to Alwar Sitar. Should be a, a few hours of flying, about two, two hours, uh, and then we'll go into our approach phase further on the ground, and we'll wrap that up. So do join us tomorrow if you so desire. The lights are out. Oops. Fly this along the way. And it's kind of starting to settle down a little bit. This thing does like to climb quite a bit, feels like. Very small passenger space. All the luggage goes up in there. 20 pounds worth of luggage. Can't believe it cut out on me two times last night. What are you talking about, Joseph? What cut out on you two times last night? Tell you other than it, I think your router, your internet router, is in a, a spot where it is not getting enough air to stay cool. You, you know, it's probably overheated. Wi-Fi, Jody. Yeah, you're you're. I imagine it's probably clogged full of dust and stuff too, Joseph. You know, kind of like what you you said your dad took apart your PS4 and blew out all that dust and junk, and then it was fine for a while because it's probably it was all clogged up. Yeah. Yeah, if it's not in a, a spot where it's getting enough airflow. You know, it's, you said it's like under the stairs or something, like in a little closet or something. Yeah, it's probably it's, as hot as it's been where you guys live and you don't have AC because that's not something you're used to having to worry about. In that little room, it's probably all hot and little ventral squid. Happy Sunday to you as well. I don't know what to tell you, Joseph. I mean, you're... You know, it's like you're... First you had your issues with your PS4 overheating and shutting down on you. Now it's the router. I'm, I bet you that router's old and probably clogged full of dust and crap. I had a movie night last night, so a break from game. Nice, Jody. take care of those those little devices otherwise you're you're going to be out of luck and then it's going to get fried and then you you're not going to be able to do anything so i know that's going to really upset you
All right, we have 46 nautical miles to our first nap point. I gotta dial in the other one while we're, uh, it's 10920. Uh, I'm okay. Yeah, it's just been a little bit hot and humid here. We had, day before yesterday, we had thunderstorms. I was hoping it would kind of bring the temperature down, but it hasn't. Uh, it's, like, just really muggy. At least in my apartment is. I know if I get dressed and go outside, uh, it's probably nicer outside right now. But, uh, yeah, that's good. Had a nice flight in the Spitfire or in the Lightning yesterday, and then uh, took off. We're up here in Canada, heading to New York. Once we reach our first nav point here, MSS, 44 nautical miles away, uh, we're gonna we'll be over in U.S. territory. <laughs> we'll be across this, uh, the border, I guess in a way, and then uh, we're gonna. Turn. Um, we'll pass on our way to our second nav point. We're going to pass uh, Lake Placid. Will be off to our left in the distance, probably roundabout way out that way, but not right now. But it'll be out a bit, and then uh, the where we're landing is a. It's weird. It exists in the sim, but it does not exist on Sky Vector. I had to. I, there's another private airfield uh, water water landing strip, I should say, near there. Uh, but 80s and low soup with mixed rain kind of feels like yeah, yeah. It's been oh, it's been, even I, I last night uh, I walked over to. Um, I walked down the street to the laundromat to get changed so I can do, I gotta do laundry today. That's the other thing, I, I have to, I can't. I've been, it's like, it's not so much I've been procrastinating, it's like just when I get, you know, plan on doing it, it then it's like I get sidetracked and so I, I gotta do laundry today, but I walked, it, it wasn't a far walk, but and I stopped off at the, little mini mart next door on the way back and got some Gatorade something cold to drink I got back home and it was like I was just it's like I was sweating and it's like man so yeah I'm, it's been insane but what can you do So, uh, yeah, we'll get this flight done. Thought we were going to have some folks flying along today. Guess their plans changed. Uh, put out the schedule for next week. Put out tomorrow's flight plan as well. Uh, after I get the laundry done, I've been, it's like I, I mean to do all those things and I get sidetracked. And then next thing I know, it's like late afternoon and I haven't given out any information at all to you guys if you're going to join in on the flight. Um, so, yeah, just. Yeah, we got little fans here. I don't know if we would do anything. <laughs> So, yeah, uh, keep an eye out in case we have any last minute, you know, folks pop in and they catch up. I was looking at different aircraft last night, I'm not going to lie. I, I, I kind of had a premonition that nobody was going to be joining today on the flight. So I was looking, I was like, you know, just trying to find some different 
planes that we can land and take off on the water. And it, it does feel a lot different. The with the pontoons, you know, you're sitting on top of the pontoons versus a plane that is sculpted like this is specifically for takeoff and landing on water. This was a much smoother takeoff, I think, because of the way that the hull is shaped. The pontoons, it's like you get this, you're bumping, you know, and the plane is just unsettled on takeoff. You know, like you, you're trying to gain speed. It was easier to gain speed to take off in this plane than it, than it is like in the, the pontoon, like the Cessna 172 or something like that. So I, I, this was my backup plan in case we had nobody flying that needed help figuring things out in the Cessna 172. So here we are in the Grumman G44A Wigeon. Next Sunday, no stream. Uh, you know, won't be streaming next Sunday. Going to take that day off because then Monday we're we're. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we got the last three legs of our flight to Indonesia. Get that wrapped up. And then I'm going to take a five-day break. Get uh, get the get the flight done in the in the uh, Concorde. Uh, get a couple runs in that. Uh, hopefully, get the uh, get uh, have a successful couple test runs in the Concorde. back on the 22nd remember no streams 23rd and 24th as we prepare uh, we get sim update 10 and go check over everything uh, notate what is working what isn't so that we avoid uh, any problematic aircraft until it gets uh, resolved back to flying on the 25th. problem auto starting spawning in on the on a runway at least on the water this was off uh, so you could not the engines would not start so but we got it sorted an interesting sort of issue to have Plenty of fuel to get us there. Can't change the pitch of the props, they're fixed. A couple of wood props there on that aircraft. Can't do anything with those. Twenty five nautical miles. A 
Hopefully everybody's having a good Sunday. Uh, oh, I. what was your question, Bex? I didn't even see it. I'm sorry. I might have been looking away. I did not see your question. Oh, uh, land of water, can it land? It can land on both. Sorry. Um, so, it can... It's designed to take off and land on water, but there's... Uh, it does have wheels so you can uh, take off and land on the land as well. Or you can take off from water and land on land, or you can take off from land and land on water. Sorry, I missed your question earlier. So, yep, it can do both. It has both types. It has country and western. <laughs> yeah, no worries. Glad to, glad to answer. We've flown this before. It's just been a while. Uh, we've taken off on land and then landed on land in it. We've taken off on land and went to water. Uh, it's just that it's something I was... Uh, as I was saying before, I got the distinct. I had a premonition last night before I went to bed that nobody was going to be joining today, so uh, I uh, I was looking for an alternate aircraft just to see how it flew because uh, it's something we haven't flown in a while. So I waited to see if anybody was going to need help flying in the uh, Cessna. 172. People were not sure what to do. I was prepared. But as no students showed up for class, <laughs> nobody called in and said, hey, I'm on my way or anything like that. So I swapped over to this. It is a much smoother takeoff, for sure. Because it's specifically the hull of its design. Whereas the pontoons, it's a very a rougher takeoff and I think it's an even rougher landing but I think this will be will be fine when we land once we get to our destination here so yep. I always have a alternate plan in place of some kind so that if um, nobody is going to join in for whatever reasons uh, then I have a, a, an alternate Yes, I will be on. We'll be landing. So it's a small, it's a small water strip in uh, in New York. But in the sim, it exists. But in the charts, it does not. I found the way I could get some kind of information as far as our directions and distances and all that, just to get an idea which way we were going to head. Um, I used there's a there is a private water landing strip uh not far from where we're landing um and you could if if you look at the map above you could see where where a plane would land and then dock at uh in that area that that private you know where there's a private water strip so somebody's wealthy they probably either have a cessna 172 or any kind of other floater plane for themselves but you could tell that it, there is clearly a spot where they would pull up and dock uh, the aircraft um, once they're on the ground or on the water and they they taxi off and, and all that so um, but this one does not exist but it's a but it'll be fun. We'll be fine. We're going to fly over the area and then we're going to circle back around and land. So it's kind of, we're landing kind of in a cove, but it's uh, there is like a narrow river, somewhat similar to this part, like somewhat like this. Maybe not that. Indication. I'm trying to think. So like a good example. But anyway. Um, so we'll once we land we'll we'll taxi off and beach it and call it a day and I'll get a 
get the laundry going. I've got my stuff in the bag already. I just got to take it downstairs, throw it in the wash, and get back up here, get the flight schedule posted for this coming week, and then get the flight plan together for tomorrow, all the particulars, if anybody's going to join in, all the... So we're almost at the end of that big journey to Indonesia. So no, no sim, uh, blah, blah, blah. no stream a week from today. No trains, no planes, no, no nothing. Taking, taking a Sunday off. we got going on coming up all right 12 12 nautical miles to our first mile point we won't turn on the beeping we don't need all that we got the nice little screen right there keep us on track we have that to keep us on track, roughly the direction of our first nav point. So we are, I think once we cross this body of water here, I think either we're already in U.S. airspace or we will be in the Certainly by the time we reach our first nav point, we're in U.S. airspace, out of Canada, Canadian airspace. So yeah, that's, the, that's what we got going on. Don't know what else to tell you. <laughs> All right. We are now in U.S. airspace, Boston, which is I'm trying to remember in relation to where we are. Oh, did we already? Oh, we're uh, all right. Uh, let's go ahead and swap freaks. And we need to go on a heading of 159. This thing is turning the wrong way. Go left, not right. <laughs> All right, so we are in U.S. airspace. Uh, our next nav point, once we pass near there, um, I think it's either before or after that nav point, we're going to pass near uh, Lake Placid. We'll be off to our left where the Winter Olympics were held in the 80s. Of course, the U.S. hockey team, um, they played in New York City. Overall, winter games were held in Lake Placid. All the skiing, all that kind of stuff was in Lake Placid itself. So we didn't, we haven't passed. 
that's kind of weird that it gave us that even though we hadn't really passed that nav point. So we, we would have turned early. That point is actually right there. It's kind of strange. Hello, Amela. How are you? I had, before you ask Abella, I had a crispy chicken sandwich from McDonald's last night for dinner. I was so hungry, because, <laughs> so here's what happened. I was playing that game last night. From yesterday afternoon until almost 6 o'clock last night, my friend and I, we, we played pretty much nonstop for like five and a half hours. And so I was like, I got to eat. And I, normally, normally I, I do not, I cannot have, I don't like pickles at all on any of my food. I was so hungry, I didn't even, I didn't even bother taking the pickles off the chicken sandwich last night. That's how hungry I was. I was just like, screw it, I don't care. I'll just suffer through the taste. <laughs> I'm fine, though. Yeah, we had a, it's hot and muggy here still. Um, it rained a little bit yesterday again off and on throughout the day uh, we do have a heat warning for today here all the way till like 8 o'clock tonight I guess it's supposed to be really bad today so uh, just gonna try to take it easy I just gotta do laundry and that's about it That's my day for the rest of today. Yeah, it's well, it's like it, it's a, just a crispy chicken sandwich. It doesn't, it's not really like super fancy. It's just that it's got a couple, uh, yeah. So it was just like it's like the crinkly pickles or whatever you call them. I don't know, but normally I do not. I would totally take them off, but I was just like, I don't care. I, I was just so hungry because we, we played for so long. And it was just like, next thing I know, I look at the time and I'm like, oh my, I got to eat. You know, I got to. And then I totally did not do my, you know, I was late on, on getting the information out for today's flight. Um, but what can you do? So that's uh, basically what happened. One five minutes. So yeah, it was quite a long afternoon. I'm guessing my mouse will be here tomorrow for my the little um, port for the front of the Xbox will be here today oh well it the thing is a it's a it's it's a grind okay that's the that's the key it's a, it's a gr it's a game that you have to grind a lot to get you know 
uh, your gear, you want better gear, you're constantly trying to improve your gear. You're looking for what they call god rolled items that are maxed out and maybe you only have to change one particular thing, but generally it's like the, the best gear to find. Um, it's just, it's, it's like most any, you know, like Destiny as well. It's a looter shooter. You're always looking for better loot. Um, and then, you know, you're, you're trying to improve your character, uh, constantly. Um, yeah, it's just, it's, it's a grind. And sometimes the grind is very rewarding. Other times it's like you feel like you've wasted your time. You just don't get anything useful at all. Um, you know, you die constantly. And you're just like, you're, you're frustrated. This doesn't make any sense, you know. So, no, what it is is my, my friend He's trying to, he, so there's a, well, I don't want to say it's a glitch. There's a, in the, in the game, right, you get to a certain point and you get this fancy watch and it gives you all these points to use. 800 of which automatically goes towards leveling up certain parts of your character. So those 800 points are gone, right? You can't use those for anything else. So whatever's left then you can use to get more crafting items. So like, uh, there's like four different things that are used to uh, either create gear or to make your gear better or anything like that. You can get that through that, but so basically what he does is he has a fourth character, he deletes the character, and then he takes them all the way to get to the point to the watch and then has all those points again. And so it's just like, it's a grind within the grind. <laughs> you know, he he uses the character for a while, then deletes it, and, and then it's like a re rinse and repeat. So that's basically what I was helping him do last night, was to get that character, to get to the watch, the wrist watch, and then he could start using the points for more items that he needed to update his main character. So, but yeah, it's a very grindy game. And sometimes what the, the amount of time you put in is not, is not very rewarding. And other times you're like, man, I got all this cool stuff. You know, you, as, as some people joke around, you have to pray a lot to the R in Jesus. <laughs> because if not, your, your chances of getting better gear and all that is slim to none but even if you you know some people are like I played I prayed to R and Jesus for like the last week and a half and I didn't get anything <laughs> you know so yeah it's just uh, Anyways, so that's what I did last night, and I totally, I meant to do my laundry yesterday, didn't do that, so I'm like, I gotta do it today, I gotta get the stuff set for this coming week for the stream, all the information out there, um, and then probably just kind of take it easy today, the rest of the day. Matter of fact, I'm going to get Tuesday, Tuesday's flight info done ahead of time because once we wrap up the flight tomorrow, um, I got to get ready because I have an appointment later on Monday that I got to get to. So I, I just want to have that information already set. Um, for the week. I think what I may just do is do a Monday flight plan, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, whatever. 
So that way I can just plug in the information and then post it. And that way I just change the aircraft or whatever. Change the route, you know, the all the inf particular information. So that way it's just, I have it set and I just copy and paste it. You know, like, as soon as we're done, I'll just copy and paste it right into the Discord for, for the next day's flight. All right, once we're done, once we get here to this now point SLK in 20 nautical miles, we're going to uh, turn on a heading of 165 for 56 nautical miles, and that will take us to our destination. We're going to fly over the area where we're going to land. We're going to get kind of eyes on the area, and then we're going to circle around. We're going to kind of a lazy right turn and line up, and we'll be on the ground. But it's nice that the journey to Indonesia is coming to an end here next week. Looking forward to having a couple, about five days away from streaming. Don't have to worry about any of that. Fly, I can just fly, do my own thing. Probably what I should be doing anyway. Six viewers, thank you all for coming in and hanging out. Do a quick ad break. Be right back.
Okay, well, I step away for a moment myself and then look what happens. The plane decides it wants to go to the right. <laughs> Let's get back on track here. Doke. Um, yeah, I just had a couple protein bars. I need them to, just to have some energy to get me through the... As I was explaining to, to Doris yesterday after we got done I got done flying and I called her. Um, I just need something in my system that, that uh, get through the flight. And then after that I can have something else to eat. But I just need the protein to kind of keep the energy up. There's our nav point right there in the lower corner there, right there. Looks like we're going to go over these little mountains. Trying to make sure we clear those. I think we'll be okay. If not, we'll zigzag around them if we have to find a lower point. To our destination, then uh, we'll uh, we're gonna turn a little bit so it's actually out. So I think we'll be fine. Or we are. I'm just gonna gain a little bit of altitude just to be on the safe side. Second nav point is near this airport right here in front of us. And then we go on heading 165. We don't have to dial anything in. At DME. Okay. Yeah, I did swap frequencies. Yep. One nine. Right. Ooh, no, it's no wonder why I didn't. bit of the journey folks we'll be on the water before we know it
appreciate you coming in, hanging out today. All the lurkers. Back tomorrow, 710 Easter, 1110 UTC, 1210 UK, leg 28. On the old Caitlin route to Indonesia, former Dutch East Indies. near the end of that epic journey. We'll be back in the Euchre's 52 on the 22nd of August. Departing from JFK and heading to Reagan National. We're going to take the Euchre's 52 around America. We'll start on the East Coast and work our way around. Try to land, take off from places we've not visited, but can handle. Euchre's 52. And, uh... So, yeah, we have some good stuff coming up in August. The last bit of August. And going into September, we have the... Tuesdays will be small airplanes, small airfields. It's the new theme. Let me open my little notebook here. So yeah, Tuesday, small airport, small plane. We'll try to go for like in the Cessna 152, something like that. Two, Mondays and Wednesdays will be the Junkers flight around America. Thursdays, we will have the Route 66 flight. Uh, we're gonna take off and head around Route 66, starting in Chicago and working our way down to uh, Santa Monica, California. Fridays will be floater plane flights. Uh, anything that can take off and land on the water, we'll, we're gonna take off and land on water. That's the intent. Saturdays will still be lightning Saturdays. Sundays, uh, once I take a couple Sundays off, uh, I'll come up with something, or just maybe in, for the near future, there's just gonna be nothing on Sundays. Um, Server will always be open, Southeast Asia, unless uh, the, the server is kaput uh, for any reasons. If it's not working or whatever, then I'll change servers, but that's the uh, our intended server. Uh, all the information for the flights will be on the Discord. If you have any questions, you can always message me once you read it and you're not sure what to do. Um, or how to put the information in or anything like that we can go over it I'm more than happy to help you work through it we will be in the air expeditiously and forthwith at 7.30 Eastern either a minute before or a minute after but we'll be within that window. So if nobody is um, if we don't have any joiners or anybody who's like, hey, I'm flying this aircraft for the first time and I don't know what I'm doing. More than happy to help out. you have to do is ask for help. That's it. All right, 42 nautical miles left on this journey. So I got some ad breaks. Probably you guys are probably getting inundated with a bunch of 30 second spots. Go silent for a few minutes so that nobody's missing anything.
All right, I think the ads are done. Wait a few minutes. Um, all right, so we just have a little bit left to go. 39, almost 38, just clock 38 nautical miles to our destination. Once we get a little bit closer, I'll call in and tell them we're coming in for landing uh, because we're, it's a non-towered, obviously, there's no uh, tower there for us to get any information from, but we'll, we'll get all that stuff locked in. We should get a runway, you know, like a glide slope guide we can line up on. So we pass over the air, the our landing area. Get this downloaded, set for YouTube later today. Yesterday's flight will be replaying on YouTube. So if you miss that, you can watch or you could watch it here on Twitch. It's still available for replay. Otherwise, you can catch it later today, noon Eastern, over on YouTube. Thank you again, Para and Texan, for flying with me yesterday. Nice to have a couple people along. Reminder, the 18th of August, for those of you who are members of the Microsoft Flight Simulator community, 18th of August is the meeting with Jorg and um, the folks from Asobo, the Q&A session, live stream, see what Jorg has to say about Pending release five days later of Sim Update 10. Any information that he is prepared to share? Let's see. Did I, today? No. I just, we're just doing this flight and that's it. Um, I'm trying to, um, what I may do, well, because normally Train Sim World 2 is on Sundays. I was trying to do two streams on Sundays, but it's, it's a lot to, you know, I, I do the trains and then I take a short break and then I do flying so that's two streams I got to get taken care of onto YouTube. So it was going to I was thinking about doing one or the other but not both. But I may I think what I'm going to do. And uh, I think for September I'm just not going to stream on Sundays at all. And then in October what I I'll try to do is something it'll be 
every other Sunday, it'll either be trains or it'll be flying. It won't be both. It's just too much. It's too much to do. Um, so I, I think it's just a, a matter of it's easier for me to to focus on one thing or the other, but not both. Um, so, yeah. Uh, so I think yeah, through September, this just won't be anything on Sundays for the last bit of August, going all the way through September. No, no streams on Sundays for, for at least that month. And then we'll see how it goes after that. Um, trying to f do stuff seven days a week, and uh, it's it's a bit much. I think you know I don't I don't really I'm not. I, I kind of feel like, and I'm not trying to be, I'm not upset or anything like that. I don't want anybody to think that. It's, uh, it gets, it wears you down. And um, after a while, it, it kind of feels like, you know, you're investing the time, but uh, it's like there's no, um, I don't want to say there's no return on the investment, but it's just like it's, I don't know. Like, I, I never know, I never know from one day to the next. Either a bunch of people are going to be in to watch, or there's going to be, like, nobody. <laughs> you know, like, it's very short. You know, like, only a few people show up, and then, you know, it's... Which I appreciate, you know, I have like a standard audience, right? Which is great, but, um, you know, I have 142 followers, but I'm only seeing the same four or five folks, maybe, maybe half dozen on a good, on a good day. So, um, so yeah, I think taking a bit of a break um, you know, to see, kind of, you know, see if it's six days is plenty, I think. Um, you know, I, tr uh, I do feel like I've, you know, I was hoping that there'd be more people interested in flying with me and we can all learn together and enjoy it all together. And sometimes we do. And sometimes it's like, you know, it's like you're a teacher waiting in the classroom and like, okay, class is open. And then nobody shows up for class. And it's like, okay, well, um, yeah. So, but, you know, that's, that, that is part of life. People might intend to want to, to fly with me. And then things happen that they, they have other obligations or uh, other plans that, that come up last minute or they forget about and um, they can't make it. So, you know, that's why I'm just going to leave. The, the server's going to be on regardless. If people want to come in and, and fly, they can. If not, that's fine as well. Um, I'm more than happy to, to give my time. Uh, but if it's not... Uh, If it's not going to be necessary or, or, uh, I'm trying to think of the word, um, if it's not, uh, I don't know. I can't think of the word I'm trying to think of. I don't know. Anyway, you know, I'm still going to fly regardless. Um, you know, I, I've always, I'm trying, you know, I've, I think I've made it clear that if anybody needs help, they want to learn anything, if I can help them understand it, I'll spend the time doing it as best as possible. But otherwise, I, I, I can't... Uh, I 
I don't know what else to do. So. be in the air regardless I'll try to wait if anybody wants to join in and you know they want to follow along otherwise you spawn in and you speed as quickly as you can to catch up you know. but all the information is there in the discord So I was thinking about it when I was looking at what we were going to do after we got done with the trip to Indonesia. And I would, uh, initially I was going to say just no more streams until further notice on Sundays. But I think having at least a month of Sundays off, that might be sufficient. I don't know. We'll see uh, what the... Uh, how it feels at the end of September. It may just be for the rest of the year, I don't know. All right, uh, 13 nautical miles to our destination, which means it is right. It's coming up here. I believe it's in this body of water right here. Lake George is where we're, we're heading. I think we just passed somewhere back over here. Somewhere is Lake Placid. Maybe it's like over here now. Um, yeah, we will be getting ready to come in for landing. I'm going to go ahead and ask or call in and say we're Northwest Waterbird. There it is. We're coming on runway one. There's the, oh, there's a pattern entry right there. Well, I don't know that we would. All right, so here's what we're gonna do, folks. We're not gonna fly over. Now that we have a pattern entry, what we're gonna do, actually, let's fly over. Cause I, the way that the pattern entry is set up is a bit, let's just see where, where it takes us first. And then we can come around, we'll, we'll hang out left, lazy left, and come back around and line up into the pattern there. Okay, I see now. Alright, so there's our strip right there. Alright. It looked like it was all jumbled together. We got this now. Alright, the percent. Okay, we're at 20% flat. Alright, there we go. That should be sufficient for right now. Maybe a little bit more. Just go ahead and get this on the on the water and we'll wrap this thing up with a 
day. But the other private one is like, um, I think it's actually right over in that part. Yeah, it's kind of a weird, but it's not in the sim. You can't find it. But it looks like a very like whoever lives in that part of the on the water there on Lake George. Obviously, they're very wealthy. You know, you can tell there's a nice house with a. a Looks like there's a boat house there as well, or a, a boat, you know, like a boat storage, like a, uh, not a boat house. Yeah, a boat house. I'm thinking houseboat. Boat house. And a nice deck, you know, like a nice, um, well made um, dock and all that. But it looks like you could probably pull up a Cessna 172 on, on the floats right there and secure the plane to the dock. Alright, let's get the landing lights on. Alright folks, we'll be on the water here in a moment. Appreciate everybody flying with us today. Back in Eucharist 52 tomorrow. Departing from Shumfan, heading to Allur Sitar. Wednesday, we will head to Singapore. Singapore on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday next week. We will be by Wednesday we will be in Indonesia, our final destination. Can't believe we started this all the way back. I think it was April I said. It's been a long long journey. 32 legs. So we're going to land there, and then once we're on the water, we'll probably pull off to the right there and beach the plane. And we'll be done for the day. Let me know what I didn't do. I don't think it, well, I don't know. I did not show that I was online either, so either way. I just thought of that. Alright, I'm going to turn the laptop to the side while I focus on landing. I will catch up with the chat once we are on the water and have the plane under control. Thank you for understanding. And just enough fuel to get there and then some. If we had to deviate, we theoretically could. There is a, a airport, Glen Fall, Glens Falls airport is I believe right over that way somewhere if we had to go to an actual airport and land and land on the water that's what we like to do in a floater plane
All right, here we go, folks. A little bump there. There we go. There we are, folks. On behalf of myself and the entire flight crew, we'd like to welcome you to the Lake George region, region, New York, United States. We understand and appreciate the fact that you have no desire to land on the water, but we're glad that you flew with us anyway. Be back tomorrow. The Uthers 52, leg 28 of our 32 leg trip to Indonesia. Trying to get this thing slowed down. Oh, thank you, Lamella. Appreciate it. I'm going to go over here and beach this thing. Try to, maybe, at least. Might be shallow enough. It's a good spot to beach the plane and have a picnic or something. Possibly. There we go. All right. I think it's going to keep doing that. <laughs> battery where's my battery switch that's the starter it's the alternator no pumps nope that's not it where's the battery Oh, here we go. Those are all off. Why am I... Oh, no one. Let's... Make sure all that... 
parts. Let me a battery switch somewhere. Oh, I know. It's probably down. There we go. Ta-da. Hour 20. Not too bad. All right, let me... Uh... Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Joseph. Um, wait for the thing to catch up here, and then we'll call it a day. Okay, yep. All right. Let me put my... While we're waiting to catch up here, I'll put the information here over on the... I might have to... Yeah, I don't know where... I'll have to look for it. All right, that's fine. Um, all right, folks, that's going to be it for today. Thank you all for coming in and hanging out. Hopefully you enjoyed it. <clears throat> Back tomorrow, 710 Eastern, 1110 UTC, 1210 UK in the Junkers 52. I see nine people showed up. Um, yeah, thank you, Jody. Uh, anyway, um, that's going to be it. I hope you enjoy the rest of your Sunday morning, afternoon, evening, early Monday morning, depending on where you are in the world. I have been and always shall be your host and pilot, Uncle B. Until tomorrow, peace, live long and prosper. <laughs>